Listen to us while you're jerking off, who cares? Please do. That's the preferred way of listening, I think, to Sequel Decay. Just pounding that thing like it did something to disappoint you. Oh yeah, like you are beating that thing like it's your future And I don't I don't think they get this. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to be a little little intense. Like you're twisting this motherfucker. Like you actively like hate it. You want to you want to see it hurt. Yeah, like they talk about choking the chicken. No, you are literally choking the shaft of your cock. Yeah, you're like beating the balls occasionally. Like just not like lightly, not some like pussy ass BDSM way. No, you're like uppercutting yourself like right in the right in the nuts. Yeah, and and you keep crying and apologizing profusely to someone named Alicia. You stop calling her Alicia after a while and you start calling her mommy. Yeah, yeah. You have a lot of issues to work out. While you're still like mm. violently masturbating and beating and uppercutting your nuts. Mm-hmm. Upper nutting? Upper nutting. It's the scientific term. But but anyway, if that does describe you, seek help. Also, the second best time to be listening to Sequel to Cave is when you are seeking professional help for your constant habit of self-destructive masturbation and edging yourself. Sequel to Cave pairs well with therapy. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Sequel to Cave is recommended by four out of five psychiatrists. Every single psych- psychiatric hospital is actually equipped with like a constant, like round the clock, twenty four seven blaring of our entire like fucking discography or whatever. I think much like in the way that a tall glass of twelve year old red wine pairs well with a perfect ribeye steak, sequel decay pairs just as well with electroshock therapy exactly. and lobotomies. If you or someone you know is listening to Sequel Decay, <laughs> you may be entitled to financial compensation. <laughs> Side effects of Sequel Decay may include drowsiness, dizziness, suicidal thoughts, suicidal ideation, sudden death, heart attack, um, <laughs> difficulty breathing, heightened sexual activity, more willingness to jack off in public places such as parks, and sudden infant death syndrome. Do not take sequel decay if you're pregnant. <laughs>